While nothing has been officially confirmed, the first casualty of the Formula One driver's market is expected to be Logan Sargent. The American will probably not stay in Williams for much longer and whoever will be his replacement is anyone's guess. But that's not the only change on the grid as a few other drivers are still without a contract for 2025. After being handed a contract after the 2023 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix by Williams, it's safe to say Logan Sargent hasn't kicked off like team principal James Vowles would have expected. The American has been linked with a move to IndyCar, while rumours won't go away that he could potentially be replaced mid-season by Mercedes rising star Kimi Antonelli. But don't expect any sudden moves at Mercedes as the team has time on its side. It has been clear for a while now that youngster Andrea Kimi Antonelli will be in the car if nothing unexpected happens but as long as there is a sliver of hope of getting Max Verstappen after all Toto Wolff is keeping his door open for the Dutchman as the Verstappens have not yet made a final decision on leaving Christian Horner and Red Bull Racing. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff addressed this question on Sunday after the Spanish Grand Prix. He said no driver decision has been made. I said we want to keep this decision as long as possible because who knows what happens. It was an answer that at the same time wasn't really an answer and didn't say very much. Wolf has no need to rush into confirming Antonelli though because Antonelli is not going anywhere. He is a Mercedes contracted young driver and Wolf can deploy him next year if he wants to, whenever he wants to. At the moment that's the direction of travel. Alongside Antonelli's debut Formula 2 season, the 17 year old Italian is doing a lot of miles in tests in older Mercedes cars to get him prepared for an F1 one debut. That debut could come with Williams at some point this year in place of Logan Sargent and in preparation for 2025 or it might wait until next year with Mercedes. Why is Wolf keeping the door open? Because his number one target is Max Verstappen. Mercedes recognise that it's unlikely they'll be able to attract the world champion at the end of this year, although you never know, but they are hopeful they can persuade him to join them for 2026. Wolf ducked questions about Verstappen in Spain, saying that no talks are taking place and they need to look on themselves and improve the car. Of course, that doesn't rule out the possibility that talks have already taken place, and they have, and that they might again as they probably will. There are still plenty of open seats on the grid for next year, but the shortlist of drivers each team is looking at appears to be shrinking. That leaves several drivers sweating over their futures, especially with a handful of rookies preparing to join the grid. Antonelli seems to be a shoe in at Mercedes next year, while Oliver Behrman looks set to join Haas. The way that the grid could shake out potentially leaves Esteban Ocon, Valtteri Bottas, Kevin Magnussen and Joe Guanyu at risk of dropping out of the sport. It would be a huge surprise if they all missed out, especially as most teams still appear reluctant to gamble on a rookie. Among the four drivers at risk of missing out, Esteban Ocon's future is the most certain. He is the only one who has confirmed he'll be leaving his current team at the end of the year. Although Martin Brundle has acknowledged that Ocon is unlikely to drive for a top team, Ocon still has options. Audi is interested in him if they cannot sign Carlos Sainz, but Haas seems to be his most probable destination. Ocon and Alpine have already announced their separation after five years together. The Frenchman has connections with Mercedes, but his chances of securing a seat next year depend on the remaining vacancies at Haas, Williams and Sauber Audi. While we're at Alpine, I believe they really need to secure some serious investment. As a works team, they don't seem to get the same level of finance backing as Red Bull, Ferrari or Mercedes. There's been talk that Joe Guanyu and his supporters could step in with investment. Joe, who came up through the Renault Academy, has a history with the team and could potentially bring a significant financial boost. If they were to, say, acquire a 30% stake in Alpine and inject funds into Enstone's facilities and staffing, especially after losing key personnel recently, that could mark a turning point for Alpine. It might just be the boost they need to turn their fortunes around. 
With a surplus of drivers vying for race seats in the 2025 Formula One season, Alpine finds itself in a favourable position as they consider potential replacements for Esteban Ocon. Jack Doan, their reserve driver, has emerged as a strong contender following his impressive contributions behind the scenes. Alpine team principal Bruno Famine has expressed interest in securing Carlos Sainz, but negotiations appear challenging at this point. Mick Schumacher has also been mentioned as a candidate for Alpine, while Gunther Steiner has urged the French team to pursue Yuki Tsunoda. Moving on, there is one seat available at both Williams and Sauber, where Alex Albon and Nico Hülkenberg are already under contract, respectively. Haas theoretically has two open seats, but realistically only one, as Oliver Behrman is expected to secure a permanent drive after impressing on his debut as a substitute for Carlos Sainz at Ferrari in Saudi Arabia earlier this year. Sainz's decision is pivotal in the driver market, and once he makes his choice, the other drivers can find their places. Valtteri Bottas, on the other hand, is an interesting talking point. Sauber's transition to Audi at the beginning of the 2026 season is likely to end their three-year association with Valtteri Bottas. The Finnish driver, who's won 10 races in his career, is the most successful of the available drivers in the market. However, despite his accomplishments, Bottas does not appear to be any team's first choice. According to motorsport.com, Italia journalist Roberto Cincero, Bottas is a potential candidate for Haas. Cincero doubts that the American team will retain Kevin Magnussen and suggests they'll seek an experienced driver like Bottas or Esteban Ocon to partner with Ferrari protégé Oliver Behrman. Haas already has one vacancy with Nico Hülkenberg departing for Sauber in 2025 ahead of Audi's takeover in 2026. However, Haas might face competition to secure Bottas as Alpine is also considering him if Ocon or Pierre Gasly leaves, according to F1 Insider. Like Magnussen and Bottas at Haas and Sauber, Ocon and Gasly are out of contract with Alpine at the end of 2024. Additionally, Logan Sargent doesn't have a contract with Williams for 2025. Nate Saunders reports that Williams might replace Sargent with Bottas, who began his Formula One career at Williams with his debut at the 2013 Australian GP. Bottas stayed with the team until the end of 2016 before moving to Mercedes after Nico Rosberg's retirement. During his time with Williams, he participated in 78 Grand Prix and achieved nine podium finishes. Bottas looks set to play the waiting game and see what opportunities arise in the future. A disappointing season for Sauber has left not only Bottas but his teammate Joe Guanyu in a challenging position when trying to attract interest from other teams. Joe has shown glimpses of promise during his Formula 1 career but doesn't appear to be a standout candidate for a new seat at this stage. However, he does bring significant potential sponsorship which could make him a candidate for his old team Alpine. Haas might also be a possible destination for Joe but he seems to be behind other candidates for the American team. As we mentioned, the Haas 2025 lineup will likely consist of Oliver Behrman and Kevin Magnussen. Talking about Magnussen, however, he admitted before the Spanish Grand Prix that Carlos Sainz was the cork in the bottle in the driver's market, although the Spaniard doesn't appear to be in contention for a Haas seat. The driver market is definitely going to be very interesting to follow this season. Who do you think will end up where? Let us know down in the comments below. We'll see you soon in the next video.